Bail you the full details of a sexual harassment claim against him. His axing came after it was revealed Mr Della Riva had been texting an 18-year-old girl. Richard Della Riva's political career is in tatters, dumped from the Liberal front bench after a sexual harassment claim blew up in his face. I've done this in the interests of my family and the party. The spokesman on scrutiny of government is married with three children. I ask that you respect their privacy as we attempt to rebuild our relationship. Mr Della Riva admits he made inappropriate remarks to an 18-year-old young Liberal member when driving her home at 4am after drinking at Eastern Suburban Hotels. Leader Ted Bayou initially stood by him but dropped him when he learnt Mr Della Riva had hidden the fact he'd also sent phone texts to the young woman, leading to a complaint from the woman's father. This is a disappointing matter and I'm, I'm disappointed, but uh, I, all I can do is deal with the matter as it, as it is. The former police officer refused to answer questions. My apologies to all. What's changed from last week? Mr Della Reeve, did you lie to Ted Bailey? Among Mr Della Reeve's colleagues, there's mixed opinion. Some say there's been an overreaction to personal indiscretion, but others say he got what he deserved, and that Mr Bowie had no alternative but to draw a moral line in the sand. Do you think he should stay on the front bench? I don't think it's appropriate behaviour for anybody. Richard has my full support. Uh, to stay on the front bench? He's doing a wonderful job. Brendan Donoghue, Seven News. Ella Riva said there was nothing more to say on the scandal. Today, one more statement. This morning I told Ted Bailey that I would resign from the Shadow Cabinet. I've done this in the interests of my family and the party. He was called into Ted Bailey's office this morning, just days after the 43-year-old father of three had assured him he'd been fully frank about his contact with an unnamed 18-year-old student after a party function. Now, I've had a discussion with Richard this morning and that leads me to believe that uh, uh, I can't rely on those assurances. And... It appears Mr Della Riva didn't tell his leader about a text he sent to the woman after driving her home, which led to a sexual harassment claim. In a prepared statement, he made no comment on the claim, but hinted at the damage that had been caused to his marriage. People that I love and trust know about this, and I ask that you respect their privacy as we attempt to rebuild our relationship. In political terms, it appears Mr Della Riva's mistake was not so much his behaviour with the young woman, but that he misled his leader. However, Ted Bailey says that's not enough reason for him to leave Parliament. I'm uh, not of the view that uh, this will uh, uh, prevent him from continuing, but that's a matter for him. I haven't discussed that with him. Thank you for your understanding and my apologies to all. Mr Della Riva, did you lie to Ted Bailey? Brett McLeod, National 9 News.